Hello, one and all. This is Luckless of Locks. Welcome back to Control. We are finally getting to the Control DLCs, starting with the Foundation. So we have to talk to the board in the Executive Hotline Chamber. I think there was one hotline that we didn't watch. The Future, I think it was. The hiss is removed slash silent from the astral plane. You have proven slash beaten the not you. So the hiss version of us, I guess. We like slash tolerate you very much. You are prepared and unprepared for what comes next. We'll speak again in the future slash expansion. Good work slash victory, director. Like the directly referencing the expansions. What was the hiss? The hiss slash bread is searching for transmission slash speakers to corrupt chaos. Asher plane is a conflux switchboard. The hiss will come for us slash all. Must stop, shut up them. I think we I think we heard this one before. Alright, I'm excited to get to it. I also just you know I did finish Alan Wake. So if you're interested in watching uh this is the remastered, of course. If you're interested in watching that, it's uh, all done except for the bonus episodes. And I'm, I don't think I'm going to play American Nightmare. I've heard it's a bit of a side thing, and it doesn't really sound like I would enjoy it that much. Um, but, you know, you never know. Something something might change. Any luck finding the armory? None. Looks like it got shifted. We have rangers checking each sector. I guess I'm going to go through here. I mean, I could teleport more closely, but I kind of want to look around a little bit. In case I missed something. It's been a while since I've played. I'm gonna be really bad. So bear with me. Alan Wake is a very different game from this one. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Maybe, I, you know what I should do? I should change it up. Shoot. Oh, I don't even have, like, anything unlocked for, uh, spin. Nah, I'm sticking- I'm sticking to what- What I've been using. We get some new stuff? We've got launch energy cost, seize speed, energy recovery speed. Shield energy cost, evade energy cost. Health. Just health plus 31%. Let's see how it goes. I, I could see increasing the health could be good. So we have um, for Shatter, projectiles fire plus 10. Projectile speed minus 20. So presumably it keeps it more compacted that way. Damage plus 49%. Ammo cost while levitating. Well, actually, this one says projectile spread. So I don't know what the advantage of the speed going down is. I think I want the spread to go down. I just assume one meant the other, I guess. For the pierce, we haven't found a single absolute for the pierce yet. Or have I just not been equipping them? Um, damage while aiming, rate of fire, damage against enemy armor. Regain from headshots. Rate of fire, reload speed. 99%? That's cool. Got to sneeze. I'm back. Bless me. Uh, okay. I think we're good. It's good for me to kind of like... Run around a bit too, just to... Reacquaint myself <laughs> with how to play. Oh. Ok, 
Okay, just checking to see if there's anything behind those. Wait, what? I didn't get these? Agent death notification. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Potts, I regret to inform you that your son, Graham Potts, was killed in active duty this past week. While the details surrounding his death are classified, I'm honored to tell you that he died in the service of his country. You can be proud of his courage in the face of danger and his commitment to protecting our nation against her enemies. He will be remembered by his comrades and colleagues and sincerely regret the pain this message will bring you. Take some solace in knowing that his sacrifice helped protect the country he loved so much. His effects will be returned to you with all speed. This earlier is Howard J. Murray, Deputy Chief of Communications. Sir. But wait, would, isn't the Federal Bureau of Control a secretive organization? Why would they be sending a letter with like the seal and with the name instead of just sending it from the federal government or something or like the military it's supposed to be secret to the outside public right whatever did I really never go in there makes me wonder what else I, I missed Practicing. I never uh, figured out if this connected to anything, huh? Doesn't look like it, just by judging by looking at the map. a dream. I feel Darling reached out to me through the hotline. I have a feeling he and Trench will be the only callers from the beyond. Cool. <laughs> Director, situation crisis. Uh-oh, in foundation. We demand your intention slash moxie. Oldest house is in danger. We open the door slash tree in maintenance. Hurry, post haste. Kind of, they kind of sound like that. Foundation. That was Ati's vacation spot. We need to check this out. Maintenance slash restricted area. Where's the closest teleport area? Um, just went through the mail room there. It's probably, let's go this way. Oh, it's black. Fuck, I always... Whatever. I always forget to hold the button. Down here. Gotta remember that charge too. How do I do that again? Is it? There we go. Great analog stick. Uh, I think it's. Oh right, there's a spot over here. I think there was a. Wasn't there? Wasn't there like yeah, a mold spot. Did I check this out though? Uh, 
I didn't. Oh, I don't I don't care about that. I love launching those for some reason. Oh yeah, I remember this is like one of the first control points that we found. I think it's down below. Ha ha! Like a steel trap. So I could... Oh, charge holds up to three explosive projectiles that could stagger enemies caught in their blast radius. I didn't even make this. Damn it. I guess I could. What, what do I need? Just source. Okay. Let's deconstruct some stuff. A hundred. <laughs> Is that enough? I don't think so. Oh, I need 45,000. Okay. Abilities? What was I saving for? These two. But maybe I should just upgrade. Oh, okay. I can't even upgrade that. I can't. Can I upgrade anything? Shield. Pfft. Who needs a shield? You don't have to shield yourself. The enemy's dead. Right? Do I want to change this up? We could change Pierce to Spin, maybe? Controlled Bursts. I'm curious about Charge, but we don't have it fully upgraded. Let's, let's, let's try uh, Spin and Charge to make it more interesting, a little more spicy. Blast radius plus 87%. Levitation ammo efficiency. Or blast radius. Blast radius. This projectile speed. Armor. Projectile speed, I guess. Spin, we have rate of fire. Ammo cost while levitating. Energy gain from headshot. Accuracy. Accuracy seems good. Is there a damage? I guess rate of fire equals damage, right? Damage against enemy armor, maybe? Okay. Oh, I see. Wow. Whoa! Okay, this will be interesting. <laughs> I'm excited about this. Maintenance. We're going to the restricted area. Wasn't there... Um, why don't I have a um, control point? Oh, foundation. Dark. Quiet. Transdimensional. This place really suits Ati. I think I want to keep it. So that etching is the door. Okay. Let's try opening it. The tree. So I think I probably if so this like stuns them too, right? So I can like combo it.
came down there. Kind of like it kind of reminds me of Lord of the Rings. No time for sightseeing. The board said this was an emergency. Whoa. I don't know what I was expecting, but this wasn't it. So those are stalactites. I came up with a, a, a way for me to remember a, a, a mnemonic or mnemonic. Stalag mites, you know, like mites are like small, they're little tiny, so they're closer to the ground. So they're the ones that, that come from the ground. Stalag tights are the other ones. I got it now. It looks like no one's been down here in a while. It kind of looks like the Hiss planet world dimension thing, right? With this red sand. Oh, this is exciting! Fresh new control. Is this black rock just growing at it? Oh, you could pull them off too. Not all of them though, only certain ones. are coming pretty. Emily would be having a field day down here. Research site gamma. It's like we're headed for that top middle there. I'm not sure if that's black rock or if it's some other crystal. Let's see what's going on here. My life's been a strange one. Certainly stranger than I'd like. But this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither, it's a shifting pit. On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. But no one does. How do we miss it? Wait. Northmore. Acting director in Northmore now is on a train from Washington. He'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that I'm at least trying to understand. Father searched his entire life for something like this, and we find it one week after he's buried. He always hated irony. Of course, Father, the great director, Ash, oh. would have been the first man in. And look at me. His bookworm son, the supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. So this is about the director sometime before Ashmore. Wait, not Ashmore, Northmore. <laughs> Named Ash. Uh, and his son was the head of research. It kind of started out the same way that we started out where we were like, this building is in plain sight, but no one's seen it. We said something similar, right? Oh, that hurts us. Good to know. Good to know that hurt a lot. Wait. There's another path this way. Uh, I think we're going to figure out maybe a way to manipulate these crystals and we'll be able to go through. I can't. Oh, 
we can crouch. No, there's no way we could fit through there. There's no way. <laughs> I love video games. Research site Delta. The foundation. Bottom of the oldest house. Stop the hiss. Marshall? How is she on the hotline? Unless she's dead. Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything. Just just light down here. Sorry for blinding you guys. Let's see that full thing. I only heard of the foundation when I became head of operations. The very bottom of the oldest house. Director access only. Just the name alone is classified. Zachariah gave me a tour the day I was promoted. Said I should see it for myself. To understand. After that, I snuck down on my own from time to time to keep tabs on the place. And on them. But nothing ever changed out And there. on them. Not even the walls. It's solid. Permanent. Different from the rest of the house. Of course... They were always watching me. I never stayed long. I'm not stupid. I have to stop the hiss from finding this place. I'm the only one who can. She said it doesn't change, but there's crystals growing out, changing the spot. Maybe she just means like the structure doesn't change like the old house does. I wonder who these things she's talking about are. I don't hear the hit. The hiss found their way down here too, huh? Forget what I said. What just exploded, though? I'm confused. Was there another thing above me that I didn't see? So they just did find their way here. And the marshal is dead, apparently. an idea. Nope. Can I? Looks like I can only drop down. I thought maybe I could like charge up. Can I fly higher? Some of those upgrades? Can I? Hmm. Hmm. I love figuring stuff like this out, so bear with me here. Maybe we unlock some other power later.
Oh, shit. Oh, it broke it. I can't land over here. I think I'm going to be able to manipulate the crystals, maybe. Let's keep going. <laughs> I could spend fucking forever over there. <laughs> Trying to figure it out and just, you know, later on, I'm going to find something that'll make it trivial. That's just the way this game has worked out. There's something running across that bridge. It was like on all fours, I think. Creepy. Nope. So that's going to go back. Wait, let me read this again, how the stunning works. It's upgrading. Holds up to three explosive projectiles that can stagger enemies caught in their bl Okay, the blast radius. Another one of those. Okay. Those cubes might help us get across. I wonder if I could... Oh, let's break apart. If I could land on something in midair to reset my, uh, my flying. A lot to take in here, guys. Some research, excavations. Guys like to dodge. Oh, they're fucking creepy. These are like fucking Dark Souls enemies. Pickaxes now. Sharpened. His sharpened agents display the peri utilitarian ability to rapidly move short distances. This ability is unique in the fact that it's not associated with any known object of power. However, we should not discount the possibility that this ability is an object variation. For example, Abrupt Physical Relocation, APR, could potentially be a variant of the jukebox's effect. Other explanations of the Hiss Sharpens, Sharpens ability currently include momentary time manipulation, brief increase in physical speed, inhibiting the witness's sense of sight. 
If we do accept that the hiss sharpened its ability is not connected to a known object of power, then the hiss are either manifesting unique paranatural abilities or there are objects in the house that we aren't aware of. Either way, the hiss are continuing to develop new strains of corruption. That is cause for concern. Refer to file redacted for full report. Wow, this one was almost entirely unredacted. Well, it's only the director that really knew about this place, so it's possible that there's an, an object down here that we're not aware of, that no, no one's aware of, aside from the director. Their heads explode? Seize accelerator. Oh, I already have a better one. That must have been what we saw kind of crawling around. Those guys. Kind of getting lower level stuff here. They look like eyes. Crossroads. I see. So we're going to be going up. Beware of dangerous toxic geysers. Sure. As one should be. By crossroads, they actually literally mean we can go two, two ways. Let's go up first. Wait a second. Is it? That's exactly the same as that other place that we couldn't get up. It's like, it, like it looks exactly the same. That's fucked up. <laughs> it's like exactly the same uh, layout and model and everything. All right, we'll be back. I don't know how to get in there yet. Toxic geysers kind of look like that. Some of them are probably going to pop out of nowhere, right? Get some more answers, maybe. Mr. Wilder, I have some bad news. Do you remember that Robert, Robert Ricardo fellow we brought in as a special consultant to map the lower caves? Well, today he found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls and a strange black pillar in the center. Kind of looks like the one at the crossroads, crossroads, but smaller. We had a bureau member shadowing him, but whatever happened in there did a number on our guests. The docs are taking a look, but it's pretty clear Mr. Adventures exploring days are over. I know we were careful to limit this guy's exposure to the non-ordinary. Drugging him and carrying him through the upper floor was a real hoot, by the way. <laughs> what? Okay. So they drugged him to get him through an area that he probably couldn't have dealt with. But we really need to reevaluate our policies on external contractors. Honestly, we'd be better off forming a special division trained in repelling 
and orienteering than subjecting more outsiders to the shit we deal with. They almost always end up dead or loony. To H. Wilder from M. Talbot. Subject, contractor issue. Okay. As I like to say. Shitting fragment. So we're on the other side, I think, from where we started. No, it just looks exactly the same. Once again. Or very similar. Wait. Okay, I thought maybe that was up above from where we saw where we couldn't get to. Four. Oh damn. The astral plane is cutting into our dimension. What if this happens in the upper floors? It'll destroy the bureau. Whoa. It says research site Delta. Cave bleed. There's a guy there with a gun. Uh, I could snipe him. That was wild. Compiled by Dr. Emily Pope by order of uh, Jesse Faden. Astral copy. Okay. With the astral plane now physically accessible, a torrent of new information has been collected on the entities known as astral copies. The copies' bodies are composed of a dense stone-like material that is both... I like how we just got this report immediately. <laughs> Time is weird here, right? Both resilient under controlled circumstances and brittle when struck with significant force. I should say time and space. So you report 8111633 for full composition analysis. I think the redacted guy was like on vacation at Remedy for this DLC. Whether the astro copies possess individual consciousness or are directed by higher, higher intelligence such as the board remains unknown. However, their shared aggression seems to indicate a unified goal. Director Faden's encounters with these entities when binding objects of power in the astral plane indicate they serve as live targets for potential para-utilitarians to practice on. Some have been equipped with bureau weaponry, though it seems unlikely they were armed by our personnel. It is important to note that they appear immune to his corruption. Interesting. I've really got to look at this guy. Does it hurt for me to touch this stuff? Those eyes. I wish I'd brought Emily with me. I could really use my head of research right about now. So like there's a way to go up above there. Later on, though, I think we can get higher. Back to the crossroads. Wait. Oh, I see. We aren't actually at the crossroads yet. 